Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a lawnmower that runs poorly. I'm going to be doing this today by replacing the actual carburetor. So I've got this Yardworks lawnmower here on the table. It's got a Briggs & Stratton engine. And here are the specs on the engine. And here's where the carburetor is located. First you have to remove the air filter cover over here. It's quite easy, just pop the tab here, remove the air filter. This filter needs to be replaced by the way. It was replaced earlier when the carburetor was clean, but there was still an issue with the carb. Now the next step is to remove the two 8mm bolts here. Now you'll need a 7mm socket to remove these two bolts here. And now you can pull this cover off. And I'm going to use these pliers here to squeeze the fuel line so that when I disconnect it from the carb it doesn't leak. And the fuel line is right here, I'm just going to squeeze it. If you don't have these, you can just disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor and put a container underneath to catch all the fuel. And I'm just going to move over the fuel line clip. And now with a screwdriver, just disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor. Might be a bit tight to get off, but once you get it going, it comes off pretty easy. Now you may want to keep a rag under here in case a bit of fuel drips from the fuel line. Now you've got a good view of the carburetor. Now what you need is a nice small flat screwdriver. And now what you need to do is pop this lever here from off the carburetor. Once it clicks like that, it's off. Just pull it up. And you can just place it on the side for now. And now just pull on the carburetor. It's going to just pop off of a tube. And now you just need to remove the linkage from the carburetor. So just flip the carb to the side a bit and pull out like that. And now you've got the carb off and there will be a bit of fuel left in the carb. Now when you go to buy a carburetor for this lawnmower engine, you may want to look at the model and serial number which is located on this metal plate here. Now at this point, if you haven't removed the little ring here and the o-ring, just remove them from the intake. Sometimes it stays on the carb when you remove it, but this time it just stayed on the tube. And here's where it's usually located on the carb, right here. And I've got the new carb in my hands. And today I'm actually using an OEM carburetor. Here's the part number 594057. You can get aftermarket versions of these carburetors for a lot cheaper. And this one comes with the o-ring and the clip here. And when you get a new carburetor, always compare it to your new one just to make sure you got the right part. Now you need your carburetor to face this way to install it. Now grab the throttle linkage and insert it into the hole right here. Now keep the choke lever to the side here. Line up the carburetor to the intake tube and push. And you can only push it in so far like this. It's just going to go next to the engine. Now grab a hold of the choke linkage and the mechanism here. And what you want to do is pop it into the plastic pin. Make sure this part here is in front of this. And now push down till you hear it click. And here's the part I was talking about. It's in front of the choke lever mechanism. And when the engine warms up, it's going to open up the choke like this. So it's normal to have it closed like this when the engine is cold. Now the next thing you want to do is hook up the fuel line to the carburetor right here. So it's a bit tricky if you have these pliers on here. Once the line is on the connector, just grab the fuel clip here, reinstall it. And before you put the cover here, just double check the fuel line for any leaks. Everything looks good now. Now you need to reinstall this cover here and you want to hook up this tube here to this rubber hose right here. So just pull out the hose a bit like this. Install it on the plastic tube on the cover. 
Now I'll just line it all up. Now I'll make sure all the holes are lined up. Now install the two silver screws and they're the ones with the seven millimeter heads. Make sure you don't mix up these little bolts because one bolts into plastic on the carb and the other bolts onto metal. And now before tightening these up, put in the two eight millimeter ones. I'm just going to snug them by hand here. And now I'm going to tighten up the two eight millimeter ones. I don't have the torque specs, but just use common sense. Just put them fairly tight, but don't overdo it. Now tighten up the other two little bolts and do them evenly. They go on the carburetor. And that's good. Now I'm just going to air blow the dust off from inside this cover here. Make sure you wear your safety glasses when you do this. Now I'm going to install a new air filter on this lawnmower. And the part number is 798452. Today I'm using an aftermarket filter. They're just as good and they're a lot cheaper. You just have to simply push it in. And I'll install the air filter cover. Just put the bottom tabs in the holes here. And now just clip it in. And that's all there is guys to installing a new carburetor on your lawnmower. Now what I'm going to do is take it outside, start it up and see how this new carburetor works. And I'm really happy with the way this mower runs now. It's nice and steady. Before it was running a bit rough and it had a bit of a surge to it. But now it's driving a little bit higher and it's much more steady. So as you saw guys, it's not that hard to replace a carburetor on your lawnmower. With the fuels today and the manufacturing we have, the only way to properly fix a lawnmower at times is to replace the whole carburetor. Now the best step I can give you guys to try and avoid this problem is to only use fuel without ethanol. Also guys, when you put it away for the winter, make sure to run it dry or to remove the fuel completely from the lawnmower. If you're not able to do that, then add some good fuel stabilizer to the fuel tank. My preferred stabilizer is the K100. And by the way, I do have a video review on the K100 and the link is underneath the video. So thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.